hello everyone how is it going welcome back to another video on injustice to mobile all right guys so in this video uh, we are going to talk about the top 10 gold characters in the entire game all right guys so uh, before we proceed with the video you know i just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time i would like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this all right guys so these uh le the list of this top 10 gold characters in the entire game is completely based on my experience uh, and my opinion basically uh, it's my opinion your views might be a little bit different you might think that this character should not be there in the list or i haven't really added some character so this is completely my opinion uh, again so uh, let's start the video so uh, on number 10 or uh, the number 10 character let me just put on the filters real quick number 10 character is one of my favorites actually which is justice league cyborg all right guys now justice league cyborg is one of those characters which will increase the damage of your entire justice league team and he is also himself a damage dealer if you have all the gears but let's just not talk about that let's just talk about what he can do for the entire team and that is the main reason why he is there on this particular list okay he has a passive that can increase the damage of the entire justice league team's basic attacks okay basic tag and swipe attacks by 300 percent okay he is immune to stun uh three power bars gained when targeted by a stun attack okay, this is one additional thing now uh, but the main reason why i have him on the list is because of the additional 300 percent attack he gives to the entire justice league team uh for the basic tag and swipe attacks okay this comes in very handy when you're coming when you're playing champions arena and arena and even solo raids uh you know if you're having a boss with like 50 million health or you just have a little bit of health left you can just put in your justice league team with cyborg in it and uh, look at the damage that they do you know they do a insane amount of damage you can see some fights that i've played against many opponents in the solo raid with this particular team and uh yeah and i know if you're, if you're basically not messing up with the combo interruption you you will do even a uh, hundred million damage you know so that's that's crazy damage right so that is the reason why i have him on the list all right guys and the gears are kind of difficult to get yes the character himself is a little bit difficult to get he's not in the arenas as a reward uh you know you you what you need to do is you need to save all the tech shards that you get uh you know when you play champions arena and use them all on cyborg when you unlock this character all right guys now moving on moving on to the next character which is there in our list character level character number nine okay character number nine is multiverse armored supergirl yes guys multiverse armored supergirl is one of those characters that is doing insane amount of damage with all the three specials you know when it comes to arena and champions arena she's a beast she can also do a lot of damage in the league raids and in the solo raids as well now let me show you the passives real quick uh multiverse power plus one power bar when there is a multiverse opponent fighting with you mostly that this comes in handy in the arena and even in the champions arena not so much in the raids because you will just have one opponent uh, even if it's a multiverse opponent just one will be there so this passive number one comes in handy in the arena and champions arena mostly uh, fueled by might 25 percent power generation per might opponent again comes in handy in all the game formats uh like arena champions arena and solo raids now the third passive is interruption she can basically tag in whenever your opponent does a special on any other character but make sure that you the the other character is multiverse character uh you know and she basically lands an unblockable attack and does a lot of damage and gains immediate power bars you know and then apart from that her specials are also doing a lot of damage special three is uh, kind of having most of the uh, additional things additional buffs that you can get on your characters like 80 percent crit damage buff 25 percent crit chance buff uh, there is a reflective shield if, if there is an opponent who's having a reflective shield you will be immune to that uh, burning opponent will deal additional damage and uh, they, they will get additional damage on themselves and then when it comes to special two it's mostly a defensive uh, kind of special where you will get additional defense on all of your multiverse characters for like 25 seconds a crit immunity for multiverse teammates bonus seven seconds per multiverse teammates obviously so this is the reason this is the reason special one does burn and uh, you know if you're having multiverse green arrow then you can also steal power uh you know with a special one and uh, it also increases the damage to special three because it will apply burn the 40 percent damage for special one to might opponents that is another thing you know 
so uh, all in all this is again one of the best uh, multiverse characters in the game and uh, this is a top nine character in the list all right guys now moving on to the next character which is going to be our top eight character and now let me just put on the filter over here again and now the top eight character is justice league the flash now justice league the flash does a ton of damage just with the basic hits now the special the passives are not great you know it does not get even upgraded but that's the reason that i have the it, this is not the reason why i have him on the list there is another reason and the reason is that he does a lot of uh damage on the basic hits you know and he is an insane amount of he he builds a lot of combos you know he has a plus one fast attack hit for the team now this even if you're not using him as a damage dealer you can put him in uh, on a team like manta or you know uh, replace him with uh, a character when you have the loa team with last lab the joker epi and then you can add the justice league the flash as well if you don't have raven you know it will increase plus one fast attack hit for the entire team and this is the reason and the other reason is that uh, you can also use him as a damage dealer you know he can stun with special two he does a lot of damage with special three you know and uh, obviously you know there is a super move which can increase the damage by 50 percent for the duration of the entire battle so usually it's 15 percent uh, but for in this scenario it's 50 percent damage for duration of the entire battle all right guys so this is this was character number eight now we are moving on into character number seven which is entangling poison ivy yes guys entangling poison ivy is a really important character in the entire game and the reason why is because the loa team will not work at all or will not do any sort of damage if you don't have entangling poison ivy with you you know that is the main reason why i have this character on number seven in the list all right guys now let's take a look at the passives over here she does a lot of damage through she helps the LA team to do a lot of damage through the dot and let's take a look say six seconds of movement disabled and swipe attacks disabled so uh, this is something that might come in handy in almost all the game formats uh 75 percent additional damage over time on basic and swipe attacks this is what you need you know so mostly if you don't have uh, epi then you won't do dot uh, a lot of dot and uh, even if you do it will be from the damage you do will be from the harley quinn special three but if you have epi and if you're stunning the opponent with heartbreaker harley quinn then you can deal increased damage through damage over time now regrowth 50% uh, of dot heals obviously he it heals the entire team entire loa team there are only three characters in the loa team api hp hq and last law of the joker so this is the reason and then the special two does a lot of dot as well and heals the opponent uh, heals our character i'm sorry uh, the special three can't stun the opponent as well if in case your uh, character is stunning the opponent dies and it can stun with epi tag in harley quinn and do the damage so this is the main reason these are the reasons why i have entangling poison ivy on number seven in the list now moving on to the character who is on number six let me put in the filter over here real quick now the character who is at number six is batman ninja catwoman now batman ninja catwoman is one of those characters which does a huge amount of damage with basic hits with a dot and with a special three as well she can blind the opponents she can do like infinite she can generate a ton of power if you have the full set of team uh, like robin and grod with him with her and uh, let's take a look at the passives real quick uh, blinding strike so 50 percent chance for opponents to miss against batman ninja teammate for 12 seconds so this activates after doing a special one two or three you can do any special and this uh, passive will be active and then moving on to the next passive which is nine second of immortal whenever hell drops below 15 percent comes in very handy in the arena and champions arena and even in the solo rage if you're or if you if your batman i'm sorry batman ninja catwoman does it takes a lot of damage then you can just do a special two in the time duration of those nine seconds which you will be immortal you know so this comes in real handy and passive number three 60% of power cost gain is power bar. This allows you to do consistent specials on your opponents. And this is the reason why I think this character deserves to be on a number six in the list. And uh, as far as the damage is concerned with the special three, this uh, reduces the power generation. Lethal attack is, is increased uh, for 14 seconds. Uh, the same goes for power generation and the special two does DOT and uh, you also heal uh you know for that amount of duty which you are going to apply on the opponent you will heal for your character as well 
uh, and then I think apart from that special one does blind and uh, increase damage to blind opponents all right guys now uh, moving on moving on to our next character which is character number five now character number five is one of the most basic gold characters that you can easily unlock and get the gears as well and it's silver banshee now silver banshee can do a lot of damage you know when it comes to the Re league rage and solar rage and personally one of my favorite damage dealers in the entire game and when it comes to the gold characters uh you know so uh when it comes to the passives she has the passives to disable the opponent's specials and deal increased damage to the opponent uh, you know for as many specials are disabled now as we all know what we the basic gameplay with silver banshee is when you tag in silver banshee you use a special two to apply torment uh through that you can actually disable the specials with special one of the opponent and then at the end when you disable three specials you tag in uh, reverse flash you do the combo you tag out you tag in silver banshee and then you do a special three and do a lot of damage after that and i think this is one of the most easily obtained characters in the game the gears can be easily obtained from the challenge and take a look at this you know 100 more damage per special disabled this will eventually increase as i increase the level of the hero and uh yeah and then after that first touch the 50 percent chance to inflict torment on basic swipe attacks for 18.228 seconds and then this can also disable the enemy's uh, specials as well this is the least uh power costing special obviously the special one and then terrifying wall applies torment to the opponents and the special abilities are all disabled for a few seconds 11 okay 13 seconds now is it now it's upgraded all right guys so that was uh the character which has to be there on the list and it's on number five now moving on to the character who is at number four now number four character again he is not that easy to obtain he is kind of easy to obtain but not that easy compared to the other characters that i showed you and the character's name is last laugh the joker he is again a really great damage dealer which does most of his damage through basic hits and special two and uh, he can also do a special one uh, mostly it comes in handy in the arena and champions arena but mostly in solo rage uh, what you will do is that you will do most of the damage is with a basic hit now this is a character at number four in the list now let's go through the passives real quick killing joke killing joker i'm sorry four second stun duration whenever anyone is defeated on either team the joker gains an increased damage for the remainder of the battle uh, when the joker is defeated a poison bomb det detonates and stuns the opponent for a brief time okay so this is the reason uh spare passive one will also increase 50 percent damage two and four second stun duration uh, now moving on to the next passive joker is venom 150 percent joker league of anarchy teammates dot last of the joker and joker league of anarchy teammates deal increased damage over time so this is another thing that you need to remember the dot will eventually the damage done from dot will eventually increase and caught you off guard 50 percent chance to stun when last of the joker is active and anytime an opponent tags in they may be stunned this is very uh, handy passive uh, which is mostly you know will benefit you in the arena and champions arena more than in the solo rates uh, but when it comes to the solo rates you can do a lot of damage just with his basic hits you just need to have uh, this epi and uh, you know just put in uh, raven or if you don't have raven you can just put in uh, last law of the i'm sorry justice league the flash uh, to increase the uh, basic hits uh, and you'll be good okay this special one does dot special two blinds the opponent as well and 45 percent chance which is and does a lot of damage with it and i think uh, a blind opponent can be easily combo interrupted so you can also do a lot of uh, damage with the basic hits so there we go guys that was the character number four on our list now moving on to character number three character number three is mostly uh, everyone's favorite and easy to easiest damage dealer and the best damage dealer uh, one of the best damage dealer in the entire game it's king of atlantis aquaman all right guys now king of atlantis aquaman can be easily unlocked from the arena store you just need to get a lot of for league credits in order to unlock this guy you need to join a league that is tier 6 or higher you know and you will get enough league credits to unlock and buy the gears directly for free from the league store all right guys the main reason why people use him 
or why people have them on the list is because of this one reason 50% uh, damage buff on special 1 100% on special 2 and special 3 and this goes only for solo raids not for arena and champions arena so make sure that you remember that and it stacks up to 600% that is insane amount of damage guys now moving on to the next passive uh, super move will disable the opponent super move and power drain three power bars that's not that relevant but comes in handy when you're fighting against brainiac in the league raid especially on phase four all right guys now and, and dark side in solo raids mostly you know when he does infinite amount of uh, super moves at that point and when he basically you know defeats your entire team with just one super move or uh, 10 percent health recovered per power bar okay uh, upon defeat aquaman uses all his remaining power to regenerate himself and that will be 10 percent health restored per power bar the more power bars you have the more amount of health he will have once he revives and then moving on to the specials this is the most important thing as well 10 percent opponent's current health reduction now if you have an artifact called as nora snow globe you can do it again now this is only for three times per battle once you do the three times you just let the king let king die let the clones tag in and then you can do the same thing with the clones as well and that is the reason why this character can be very lethal and the most damage dealing characters uh, you know which takes a lot of damage in just one hit and uh, even if you don't have nora snow globe you can use him and you can see the difference that he makes in your roster and the difference that you can see in the damage will be significant you know this character has to be there on the list and without him the list is incomplete all right guys so this was character number three now moving on moving on to character number two now character number two is heartbreaker harley quinn she does a lot of damage to stunned opponents through dot okay and she has a special three that does armor piercing again can do a hell lot of damage than any other special three of any other characters that are currently there in the game you know now let's take a look at the passives real quick it's not meets you it's 75 percent chance for teams to reflect stuns now if you're fighting against a boss like uh, black adam you know who does stuns on taggins then whenever you tag in a character there are there is a 75 percent chance that this particular character or any other character in the loa team if you're having uh, harley quinn they will reflect stun or any other team you know it's not necessary that you need to have an loa team uh any other character as well if you're using king uh, then you can put in Harley Quinn and if you tag in King there is a 75% chance that the stun will be reflected back to the opponent Okay, so it's just not for the LOA team for the F or any characters it is uh, minus 70% opponent's team stun resistance minus 75% oppose, uh, opposing team's damage over time resistance This is also great comes in handy in the arena and champions arena and mostly in the solo raids all right guys straight to the heart 300 percent damage against stunned opponents 120 percent damage cri critical damage multiplier reduction for league of anarchy team okay make sure that you remember that this is just not for uh, any other team it's just for league of anarchy team and this is also another reason why you need to have this character in your roster all right guys now straight to the heart okay we just read it now special three can then uh, can do armor pierce as i said uh, special two can stun the opponent special one is a crappiest special but we don't even need that you know when you have special two and three so op you don't need a special one all right guys now you know so the best way to get the gears is from the gear chest the best way to get the character is by opening the loa chest and uh, you'll be good to go just make sure that you get all the gears before you start using the character because even if you have one gear missing then you might not do that much damage that she can do all right guys so this was character number two now moving on to character number one which is batwoman the drowned there we go guys let's let's pick that character i i believe you guys might have gotten a pretty good idea already uh and uh, this is like this is also called as a free to play beta club you know if you guys don't know what a beta club is that is a really op artifact which does a lot of damage and basically does kills the opponents who are having two billion and one billion health in like a few minutes so uh, you know this is the reason the main reason why she is called as the free to play play beta club is because of the hazard damage that she does now let's take a look at the passives over here real quick dead water infection this is a lot of things to read over here but we're not going to read everything what i'm going to tell you is the main stuff and a four seconds of infection on successful basic and swipe attacks opponents healing effects decreases by five percent that goes to 15 percent now the hazard damage is the most important thing over here okay and the crisis energy bar is what will give you the hazard damage you need to do a lot of basic hits uh, with this particular character if you have batman who laughs 
uh, that's great he, he, he can basically increase uh, the generation of crisis energy by a lot but if you don't have you can also use like uh, an artifact called, uh, it's a free-to-play artifact called as god killer uh, which will give you an infinite loop and you can do a lot of basic hits and get uh, the infection and as well as the crisis energy bar to the max and you know start the hydrokinesis now ultimate hydrokinesis now this is what i was talking about 650 percent guys that is a lot of attack that is a hell lot of attack for 16 seconds uh if you are under darkness i'm sorry if you are doing this hydrokinesis the hazard damage resurrects one metal teammate per activate uh, max three resurrections per battle that is insane metal teammates revive with uh, 80 percent of health now this is the reason why mainly you need to unlock this character if you don't have her right now okay you need to unlock this character and the gears again are easily available through the challenge through the versus challenge i recently unlocked all the gears actually in my free to play account you know for this particular character and crisis en engineering 130 percent attack as hazard dot on special one for seven seconds again an additional attack 165 percent attack or as hazard dot and 5.25 percent max health restored per second for all teammates on special two for eight seconds and then again attack will increase 200 percent attack as hazard duty and disable all opponent specials on special three four nine seconds that is insane guys that i mean that's like crazy damage you know you want you won't find any damage like this even most of the legendary characters fail in front of bathroom and the drown okay now this is the reason why i have bathroom and the drown on number one in the list now let's take a look at the uh specials over here uh two crisis bar for enhancing now i i am not really really a big fan for enhancing the specials you can do that in the arena and champions arena but in solo rage you will just lose a lot of crisis energy which is not right you know this can steal power bars as well you know so this is one thing and make sure that you don't enhance uh enhance while playing in the solo rage you can do that while playing you know in the arena and champions arena and then there is just a trident attack which will increase the damage all right guys so that was my list for top 10 gold characters in the game if you have any questions any doubts please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer them to you all right guys so thank you for your time you guys have a great day ahead take care of yourselves be blessed and stay safe have a good one guys Bye bye